Hi folks, good morning, morning, morning everybody. It's Christian from Student Education with the Four Majors update for the 17th of April 2013. Very special day today because this morning I am doing the Four Majors Notice update on the new MT4 template, the FX8, the big one. This is for all you guys out there who've been interested or have sat on our webinars just recently and heard that Nikki and I have programmed a tool that you could use now on MT4 that utilizes pretty much the same templates that we've been using on our Metastock program. So if you're interested, please sit down, relax, and I'll go through in detail on the formage this morning how to use the templates. Okay, so without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, so the way I use this is, and the way you should use it is pretty much get a look at the the larger time frames. Okay, in the bottom right hand corner you can see there are a number of indicators okay, and next to them there are a lot of arrows blue and red and below that you have the time frame so you have if you have for example you have the moving average r squared parabolic SAR, the macd linear regression uh, this is the red so strength index adx and rmo these are all working together to give us a a decisive buying or selling of uh, um, sentiment on the chart at a particular time frame so you have 5 15 30 minutes we have the hourly four hour daily weekly and monthly okay so i always look at the trading the bigger time frame so i want to know what's been happening on my bigger time frame so i'm going to be starting this analysis this morning looking at my weekly so the euro against us dollar on a weekly chart so i want to know straight away where my institution moving average is it's this green line above here so i know that the sentiment has been um be negative and you can see quite clearly that we've seen uh, lower lower highs which indicates negativity so if i just zoom out move this back in again you can see now quite clearly that over since 2008 there we go we've had we've seen price falling quite aggressively and each time she's found support here 2009 uh, lows 2011 sorry 10 lows 2012 lows all um, at at a certain point however the highs not getting any higher so that tells me straight away that sentiment is waning on this particular pair long term however we do have a nice strong support uh, that that's helping price at the moment now uh, over the foreseeable future so the thing I want to know about is if you're making lower swings then what is price doing relative to that near term so once I found that out Maybe I'll just move it back so you can see. So now what I can see is price has been falling recently, then bottoming out in April of last year, and then since then, price has pretty much been moving to the upside. Uh, slight hesitation here at the underside, and we've seen a pullback recently. This is the start of this year, and what's happened now is I want to know that we have a bounce, but recently you can see that the correction we had just recently, over these two, month, uh, two weeks over here, did not break a prior support level so it's telling me straight away that we're not seeing lower swings anymore there's more likely to be higher highs and if you're going to see a lower swings then you need to see um, price breaking the previous swing in this case you can quite clearly see there's a sword and resistance level here it has been in the past so if you look at it overall if i just move that over you can quite clearly see there has been hesitation at this level in the past through there through there through there, through there. So this constitutes to now a major support and resistance level on, on my chart. Very, very important. I need to know where these levels are so I can use them as target levels. And now if we found support here, it's going to bounce higher. We have seen price moving up now. So where's it likely to go to? So I can use my FIB retracement tool. Take the previous swing low in this case. Okay, take the high of that. Project to the downside. And now I can see on my chart here where price is likely to to target now so let's just get this right okay so now i'm using my fib, fib tool from the current highs all the way up here that we saw back in 2011 to my current low that we saw back in 2012 and you can see the 23.6 has been projected my 38.2 the 50 the 61 and above that there's also the 78.6 which is roughly around this area around here you can apply that there you have it, I've applied it. Yep, as I mentioned, prior resistance at the top here in this consolidation that goes back here. So as it stands at the moment now on the hard right edge, which is the most important thing to me, is I want to know where price is. So if I just zoom in, you can quite clearly see the 38.2 is right here 
on my weekly so if i plot if i go down to my daily now you can see that the sentiment has popped up above this 38.2 which is a positive signal so as long as it maintains above the 38.2 area now on my smaller time frames i.e my daily four hour hourly etc that will all start leading into sentiment to the upside you can see on, on my bottom here my template price was trading above 38.2 now straight away i'm looking at my moving averages down the bottom the only one that's not in my favor is my um Weekly time frame is telling me the institution is still above price, and you can see quite clearly the institution moving average is above price. All the other time frames, my institution is below price, so that's supporting. So I know that uh, by the, the weekly, the 200 period moving average is below price, which is a positive signal. So we're seeing upside just recently, so all these intraday should see the institution below price because we've seen buying sentiment over the past um, couple weeks. Okay, so now we're trading above it. What I can use as my target would be the 50%, which would be on my weekly, my institution moving average, which happens to be a price support and resistance level. Fancy that. So intraday, I want to see price now spending time more time above the 38.2, which would then would see uh, lead to consolidation. So if I go to my daily time frame quickly, I, uh, straight away I get a bar signal. It's because on my daily, you can see quite clearly every single one of my indicators is blue so it's telling me i should be looking for nothing more than buying sentiment and you can see yesterday's candle moving higher on the institution up above the 38.2 is a positive signal so recently you can see if you look at the daily uh, trend line you can see quite clearly swing lows depicts downside movement now for the first time over the past week or so we've seen a break of this downtrend and in this case, all the moving average was above price, resisting her. Now you can see quite clearly that the price has broken this downtrend and trading above all three moving averages, which is a very, very strong indication for upside. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to see where my sentiment lies. So I know my daily, we should be looking for highs. My four-hour sending, we should be looking for buying opportunities. But you can start seeing from my one hour down to my five minutes, there seems to be a lot of blue and red, etc. There's been a lot of consolidation a lot of indecisiveness because there's a lot of red and blue all mixed together. The reason why it's doing that is because the fact that we're not making higher highs. Price is consolidating and you can quite clearly see the candle. There we go. After yesterday's bullish candle, the candle over last night's Asian market is very small, very indecisive. Okay, so that's going to reflect in today. It's going to reflect a lot of indecisiveness. If it was true buying sentiment in today, then you'd see more blue and less red on the actual indicator chart here. So what is it telling us on my daily? MACD is above, it's dark, which tells me I'm seeing consolidation in an up sentiment, which is exactly what it's doing now. As it's been moving higher, we're starting to see price one above this. And my RMO is above the zero line, which is quite cool because RMO plotting uh, the sentiments, positive or negative, you can quite clearly see we were in a negative trend. RMO was below the zero, now we're getting above all the moving averages and moving, uh, making new higher highs. You can see the RMO is now back into positive above the zero, which is fantastic. So it's telling me straight away that intraday we should be starting to see consolidation. And I mentioned as as long as the 38.2 remains as my support for this week, then I should be looking for all the indicators of my 5, 15, 30 minute, etc. like to start going blue to confirm that there's buying sentiment now above a major support and resistance level here at the 38.2 to target my long-term 50% Fib retracement for my weekly as my first target. And then after that, back up to these current highs or the prior highs we had recently here in January of this year. So intraday, let's go to the four hour. Straight away, I've got another buy signal on there because we know just by looking at the moment here, you can see everything's up. Okay, and the most important one is R, R squared. R squared is telling me that the sentiment, because it's moving higher, the, R, the actual sentiment behind that move is one of positiveness, which is good. That's what we want in a, in a trend. If it's moving lower, we want to see that positive strength to the downside. That sentiment has to be moving lower in order to see price making lower lows. If this is moving up, then we want to see price making higher highs and we have to have the sentiment. So swing high recently, break of the 38.2. You can see the consolidation now after yesterday. So as long as it consolidates and it maintains above 38.2, then we should be looking for price to find support above a prior resistance level. And if she does that, then we're going to see price continuing to the upside. So as it stands at the moment now, we want to see all the five minutes, the 50 minutes in particular, 30 minutes all going positive. And when you do that, then it's telling us we should be looking for that sentiment to push through to the upside. Okay, so at the moment now, we've got to wait. One thing you can do, you can be one of, um, you can be very, very 
uh, aggressive and wait for your 15 and 30 minutes your 5 15 and 30 minutes to all start going blue to confirm that sentiment's now being uh, if you look at the 30 minutes you can see we're just going sideways hence the reason why on a 30 minute we have r squared which i told you which is important for looking for that sentiment um d depending which way the price is moving you can see it, we just don't at the moment then the aggression is below so it's telling us it's negative because we're moving sideways and the r squared is negative which is telling us we don't have that sentiment at the moment and what happens price is consolidating so we've got to wait for particularly the r squared to go in our favor the macd also if it's in a positive trend would show up the only one that's was really really good for us is the rmo because it's plotting long-term trend and you can see as long as it maintains about the zero then we're still very much in a positive trend so as long as the zero line uh, this this uh, histogram stays above the zero line then it's fantastic so at the moment now looking for consolidation all i can do now is put in a an alert for price to break above the current high because if it's not breaking by the current high then it's not making higher highs which means it's not making any moves further moves to the upside once i've done that then i can go over to my to my navigator get my trend line alert throw that on the chart because now i want it to alert me to tell me that it must give me a signal okay so i've done that move it back again just double click on here trend line close above and now i leave it okay so waiting for a 30 minute or an hourly close above this current high would tell me that price because that, that's all i'm looking for because we're looking for buying opportunities because price is moving higher recently it's above a major support and resistance level in the shape of 38.2 everything's looking positive near term to the upside i should only be looking for buying opportunities i would only start looking for selling opportunities if price broke and closed lower than 38.2 again so that's it for my for my analysis on the euro on to sterling let's have a good sterling i've got my monthly chart open because i want to see what price have been doing over a long period of time 2007 2008 highs to the 2009 lows uh, eight lows sorry price fell quite drastically and since then price has moved higher like its european counterpart however not it, also in this case not making higher highs so price has been waning recently swing low swing low swing low so i know the sentiment even though it's one of negativity has been trying to make higher highs but it's been going sideways and recently price has broken a major support and resistance level in the shape of the 15300 a lot of consolidation over the months rmi look at it it's flat there's no true so very strong and then we each time she moved into the 15 1300 each time she bounced this time she broke recently so not a good sign and i look at my rmo straight away and my monthly all below the zero line and my mac is below which is not good so you can see that the monthly very negative indeed so telling i should be looking for selling opportunities and as long as it maintains if the monthly candle closes below the 15300 then i should be looking for shorting opportunities for the foreseeable future and i'll be targeting these areas down here roughly there's a consolidation here at 143596 but the ultimate one would be right down here would be our 2008 lows which would be at 1347 or 148 so there's a lot of movement potential movement as long as price maintains below 15300 so now i've drawn a fib ratio from my highs my current highs my monthly to my current lows and my monthly now it draws these lines over here fantastic because i need to know these lines these are very very important lines to me the 23.6 is where the 15300 mark is now in my daily for etc intraday my 38.2 is my target if we get above 15300 my target would be my long-term target would be the 38.2 which is a consolidation range that you saw price spending more time at through most of 20 uh 20 2012 in particular so now if i go to my weekly chart let's have a look there we go there's my 23.6 you can just see it price is just getting above that however i got a red arrow red candle so the sentiment is still negative my rmo is still below zero my macd is still below even though it's pulling back if it's red bright red then it's falling but you can see it's pulling back so the consolidation is pulling back but it's pulling back into what could be my major support and resistance level in the shape of the 15300 very very important week this because we are trading now into the underside of this major support and resistance level if she spends more time above this area then there's more likely for price to actually continue to buy if she consolidates and by the end of this week you see a bearish engulfing candle this con could be confirming to me <coughs> that price support is now the new resistance because of the breakout and now we should be targeting to the downside and the first target would be our prior consolidation low here at the 14 at this area at, at the 14 mark so if you look at all our 
intraday chart, one of negativity. We're starting to see a lot more negative. There's more red than blue. And it's important that we see that as long as the R squared okay, stays blue, which is telling me it's strong, and everything else stays red on the intraday, then it's telling me it's strong negativity. And because price has been falling, we should be looking for that negative sentiment. The only thing at the moment I should be showing us blue is the fact that the dailies, including the four hours, would be showing you buying because it's pulling back. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Very, very important. Weekly, you can see the R squared is positive, so it's telling you it's positive negative sentiment, and you can see quite clearly that the weeks has been negative. Okay, we've been falling. Okay, so let's go to the daily. And you can see price over the past couple of days is spending more time above that 15300 and above the 23.6 and as long as she mains, maintains above between this area here we should be looking for buying sentiment intraday okay the negativity as i mentioned too if she's to, to be one of uh, of negative negative she needs to be trading below the 15300 she's now spending time more time above the 15300 and you can see that the candles are more blue and the last arrow we had was a blue one so we want to start seeing the R squared and all that type of thing staying positive, but we'd like to see more red now. You can see there's a lot of um, there's a lot more. Sorry, you want to see more blue? Apologies, because we're above the 15300. But there's red, so it's still consolidating, which is telling me that my highs intraday are getting lower, which is a negative signal. So if I go to my four hour, you can quite clearly see compared to the prior high, which is up here, price has not been able to get above that recently. We have a slight push yesterday, moving higher, and we have a blue arrow that's just now formed. All my moving averages below price, which is positive. My RMO is still above the zero line, which is positive. MACD is just climbed above the zero. It's telling me it's positive. Okay, so now we should be looking to target the upside. But to get to see further opportunities to the up, we need to see the current break of the current high, which is this one over here. Okay, so we need to see a break of that. Oops, let me just get this in here properly. So looking negative intraday because of the fact that we're not making high highs and if that's the case because the long-term sentiment is one of negativity we're seeing that potentially what the, the sentiment falling through now but we, what we can do is we can target the downside 15300 as our first target because that's our all-time support and resistance level i mentioned in the weekly we could target that and you can see that the negativity is pretty much favoring the downside intraday five minutes the only one at the moment now we've seen consolidation and you can see quite clearly how all the moving averages are pretty much trading together quite tight not really giving us really any, any indication so we've seen a lot of movements near term however a lot of downside recently over the past couple of hours which is not really a good sign but because price is not making higher highs that means that the sentiment still weighs to the downside so intraday you could be targeting the 15300 ultimately we'd like to see price trading below the 15300 to see that negativity which is very much in favor on our long-term charts to be actually showing us that we need to be seeing if you're trading long-term negative sentiment as it's showing here on the charts we need to be seeing price trading below the 15300 if we don't then it's more likely for a bounce and the more she finds if she trades above 15300 the more likely she's going to start building positive sentiment and if she does that then we should be looking for a high higher highs so very very important you can see how indecisive she is in today Rather, if she's to make, if she's spending more time over 1500, she needs to be trading above this area here at 1538. If she doesn't trade above 1538 this today, then she's not making higher highs, which means she, she should be looking for lower lows. On to your solar Swiss franc. Let's have a look at this particular pair. On the weekly time frame, you can quite clearly see that prices come from low all-time lows back in 2011 and been moving higher the US dollars gained strength against the Swiss franc. However, you can see the institution moving average still above price, which is still one of negativity. And we saw price attempting higher highs in the shape of the 1000 uh, last year in particular. Once she got there, she was unable to get above because the institution was above price and she's been forced lower. Because the, uh, the long term trend on this particular one is still looking negative. You can see on the monthly here, price has really dropped and still dropping against US dollars. It's just that we've had a major correction over the past two years and that's taken us to where we are now. But it's still under that we can see the one, the 100. Uh, Parity at one is constituted to a major support and resistance level on this chart. And as long as price fails to break above this, we're still very much looking in a consolidated but negative outlook for the particular pair. So on the weekly, you can see that we're not making higher highs. The institution moving average is still governing price. And in doing so, she's pushing her lower. And if she's pushing her lower, then we should be looking for negative sentiment. So if I draw my fib from the lows we had in 2011, 
to the current highs that we had through 2012, which was at the 1000 mark. You can see the 23.6 is where price is trading right now in real time. Just to the underside of that, only moving up to above price on our weekly, which is looking negative. If you look at our weekly chart, uh, weekly indicator on the bottom here, we do have a number, there are a number of factors that are blue, which is not a good sign. We want the R squared, which is positive, to tell us that that negativity is still strong, which is fantastic. Parabolic SAR is on the wrong side. MACD is also looking positive, which is not a good sign. And linear aggression. So the positive on the MACD is just consolidative, but we want the linear regression here to be showing us negativity because if it's falling, then it needs to be the R squared. It needs to be telling us we should be looking at and in this case. It's not because it's still blue. So we're seeing a lot of indecisiveness. And what is price doing? It's consolidating. It's not moving higher, higher. It's not moving lower, lower. It's just moving sideways. So the actual tempest done us a favor here. So if anything at the moment now, all our intraday, let's have a look over here. The only ones that are looking really good to the downside are our daily four hour. And then it starts getting very mixed intraday and um, our five minute. So you can see that we, we've fallen from prior highs, which is where the consideration of the institution has been. So this is now a resistance. And if we know we've been falling, so intraday we should be looking for that negative sentiment. Price should be falling over and you can see the start of it doing so. My weekly RMO below zero, my MACD is the only one that's above. If I go to my daily, you can see where the institutions are. All above price, which is negative. We come from highs. You can quite clearly see that we've had a high, a major high. Price has failed to get above that, and subsequently price has been forced lower. Break lower, and now you can see that the last arrow is red. Candles are now red, so we should be looking for negative sentiment in today. So as it stands at the moment now, I'd say a close below the current support level. There we go. It's telling me on my four hour. I should be looking for selling opportunities. But you can see it's consolidative and the support level. So I need to see a close lower than this candle here on my hourly or your 30 minute your entry candle has to close lower than the current support to look for entries lower. Okay, so there we go. Look for a close below this level here at the 92026 mark for further sentiment to the downside. Last pair of the day is the US dollar Japanese yen. This is quite an important one because you look at the temp, the actual template over here in the corner, and it's pretty much blue. There's not much red. But that just goes to show, I mean, the monthly, you can quite clearly see bar the moving average, which is still above price. You can see how negative the sentiment on the monthly was. If we go to a monthly chart, you can see we've kept falling from a major high, and you can see the institution is still above price. So that's all telling us, and the RMO is still below, so it's telling us uh, it's creeping over towards the zero line. So you can, through, through this negativity on the month, you can see the RMO is getting stronger. Okay, as we made lower lows. The RMO things were getting lower than the prior one, which was telling us the sentiment was looking negative. Now, near term, we bottomed out through 2011 and to 12. You can see the RMO was making higher. So this was low, not lower than the prior one, which is telling us sentiment is moving away. And sure enough, price was gaining strength. MACD was spending more time through here on the positive side of the zero line. And that was telling us we started to see buying sentiment coming through and the support being forged. And then we saw price moving higher. And subsequently, what's done now is price is targeted if i take my monthly to my low here has target 23.6 for retracement the 38.2 just recently at 94 and now you can see price rolling up into those highs here at the 100 which is our 50 percent line so we're trading at a major support and resistance line guys as we speak so on our weekly there we go the buying sentiment weekly everything's looking positive so we should be looking at buying opportunities the only thing that's stopping us from going higher more is this area here at the 100 and sure enough you can see price rolling into that quite aggressively however pulling back quite aggressively and on our daily you can quickly see that we are seeing pullbacks nothing's a, we have two indications the macd is below and the parabolic is below so which is not a good sign so we've seen consolidation on our daily so there we go from the highs price is pulling back so we're still very much in a positive trend because all our moving averages are above price sorry below price okay but as price has been moving high you can see the rmo has also been dropping as we've headed higher so into that resistance we would have told you straight away look for potential because our the sentiment in this upside move is starting to wane now and you can see the consolidation so to see further highs for the foreseeable future for the US dollar against the Japanese yen we need the 50 percent line or the 100 to be breached otherwise we're going to see consolidation and the downside is going to start looking uh, more likely a target near term okay so daily intraday you can see uh, uh, sentiment very mixed very mixed indeed so look for that buying sentiment to come through on the hourly you can see we've had a pullback the institution 
and just on the four hour here you can see the pullback is happening right now we have a blue arrow and the candle is blue so on a four hour the only thing in our, in our favor is the most important one which is this r squared we need it to be blue so if this is buying sentiment or positiveness here which is showing us on our four hour that we should be looking for we need that r squared now to go blue if it doesn't then it's telling us we don't have the sentiment in the direction so this is just a, a pullback and a, and if it's just a pullback then it's likely to wane and we should see further lows soon so very very important we do need to see that on this the hourly the only one that's not in our favor is the institution so the institution still capping price to the upside failed before and failed yet again very tight range get above that and then we should be looking for price to target the 50 percent which is back up towards our 100 percent the 100 mark again as that sentiment starts to that buying sentiment still continues to move through the lower ranks so rmo over here above zero macd above zero so everything's looking positive on our hourly the only thing we have above us to get above is my moving average the institution so what we can do is draw a trend line here look for a close above this area here to give us a signal so we can look to then target look for trades to the upside because you can see that the, there's more blue in here so i should be looking for buying opportunities guys okay so there look for my trigger alert there she is throw on the chart and now on here i'm just going to say close above and if the next one hour counter closes above this line that i've drawn in here and above the institution then i should be looking for nothing more than buying opportunities to the upside that's it guys that's the fx8 explained on the four majors this morning i hope it made sense if you have any questions please drop us a line at support at syringeducation.com for further information. If anyone out there who's interested in purchasing this particular template, please send an email to customer support at syringeducation.com. Okay, have a fantastic trading day. Please back up your trades with sound money management. Very, very important. There is some news out this morning for the European market, sterling market. Then we have a lot of news for the US market, including the Canadian. A lot of news for the Canadian overnight interest rates announcements for the Canadian then we have crude oil inventories for the U.S. market. Then we have the beige book, which is an important one for the U.S. market this afternoon or this evening at CM, uh, 7 o'clock GMT. So very, very important. So be aware of it. Take it on board and factor it into your trading. Plow money management, as I always say, and I will keep referring to it. Plow money management. Very, very important. Otherwise, I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Until then, you guys trade serenely.